Hey guys, not so close Satan here, and welcome back to Kelvin and the Infamous Machine. I didn't realize how much progress we made last time, so in this episode, we'll finish this chapter. <laughs> Oh, poor Beethoven, look at him. Why was I pointing? Oh, um... Dude. I can't remember what we last did. I already did. have one. You already have a peanut. You got a cocktail and a gross looking gumball. Unbelievably chill guy is chill. We spoke to Beethoven last time, didn't we? <laughs> How about this? I'll start a melody and you can just run with it. Mayhem intensifies. Seriously, how is this still getting worse? Why? I am here to help you write your next symphony. <laughs> there will be no next symphony. Why not? You're so good. Perhaps you failed to notice, but I can barely hear a sing. Ooh. I did notice. When did that happen? Hours ago, I was accosted by a wild-eyed shrub of a man from some infernal horn. He flooded my ears. With a terrible screeching oh. tone. Now, the only sound I hear clearly is that of this damned mug striking the table as I drink my misery oh. away. Poor thing. Mm. Oh, yeah, I found out as well since last time that the shuffler is a uh, fan go. The shuffler. Let's just try out these other options. Could I borrow your cards? Cards? What is the shuffler without his cards? What is a muskox without his musk? Just an ox. What is the barrel salesman without his mini barrels? Failure. All right, all right. I got it. Uh -oh. Looks like somebody needs a drink refill. The shuffler is awed by your observation of <laughs> prowess. If I bring you a drink, will you let me borrow your I don't cards know why we for a few minutes? Cards. The shuffler is not one to make promises, but perhaps. Okay. The Kelvin will see you later. The shuff Yeah, yeah, we know. We heard that last time. Use the cocktail with the shuffler. See if he likes it. Wow. <sighs> Did you have business with the shuffler? Apparently I want your what? cards. I just gave you a drink. You said you'd let me borrow your cards. The shuffler recalls no such drink. <laughs> and no such bargain. You must remember, sir. You. You're a tricky one. Wow. That was rude. Um. Ooh. Creepy loiterer. Who are you? Creepy loiterer. Were you at the concert? The concert. Yes, that is the place where I was. The concert. So, what did you think? The concert induced a range of emotions that is both appropriate and desirable for <laughs> a concert. Oh, good. I think. Good? Yes. Bookworm. I didn't realize people had actually like, come outside by now. Whoa. Well? Whoa, well, what? According to this guidebook, there's an enormous devil chipmunk painted on the ceiling of the lobby. I don't see anything. Made you look. Oh, real mature. No, really, that looks like a creepy chipmunk thing. Dapper snacker. Okay. Ooh. Are those donut holes? Mud balls. Want one? Ooh, what's in a mud ball? Mud. I'll pass. <laughs> What did you think, Kelvin? Oh, Doctor, we need Excuse to... me, Mr... Kruzlink. Doctor Kruzlink. Uh, can I help you? Oh, 
I just pooped out my brain. I need Melaskia now. Hardly. A good bloodletting should get your humors back in alignment. Indeed. Indeed. Come by my office tomorrow. I'll prepare the leeches. Amazing! I'm suddenly cured. Right. He's allergic to peanuts. Do you think I could have that Melaskia prescription now? Good heavens! An acute facial dysmography! Oh, this affliction is far beyond my ability to treat. Here, enjoy one last beverage before your head blows up. My condolences. Thanks. Oh, Jesus. Before your head blows up. I haven't pulled that trick since my organic chemistry final. Okay. I just want to talk to everyone else now. <laughs> Is that okay? What did you two think of the show? Oh, it was simply exhilarating. I feel so alive. <laughs> Don't you, Mortimer? Yes, Angelica. So alive. I feel as if... As if I could sing! Please don't. Like the stars in the sky. And the stars in your eyes. You're, You're the, the light, light oh, of my life. Please stop. Uh, bravo. I guess. I wonder what happened to the cobra. Remember last time we set the cobra out loose in there? Anyway. We have a prescription from Alaska. Main Street. We got the prescription for the Malaskia, so we can go get the Malaskia. So we need to use the prescription with the bartender. One Malaskia, please. Oh, uh, here's my prescription. Very good, sir. Before I make this, however, disclaimers. I am required to inform you of the following disclaimers. Malaskia is not recommended for consumption by the ill or infirm. Do not drink Malaskia with other forms of alcohol. Do not drink Malaskia before or after operating a threshing machine. What's a Do threshing not drink machine? Malaskia in the vicinity of a fountain or decorative clock. Why? Do not drink Malaskia in Spain. Do not drink Malaskia during an existential <laughs> crisis. Do not spell Malaskia. Do not drink Malaskia upside down. Do not think that drinking Malaskia somehow makes you better than Malaskia. If Malaskia asks you a question, do not answer. Um. And finally, do not, 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 not drink Malaskia. Do you acknowledge and accept these disclaimers, sir? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Give me. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Ooh. Now what? I suppose I don't like that. Yeah, I'm on the clock. Oh, yeah, he said that last time, didn't he? The shuffler wants nothing to do with that caustic swill. Well, we need to give him a drink, don't we? So let's try getting another cocktail. And put in the molasses well, in the sir, cocktail glass. Another Ardalan Samimi, if you please. Coming right up. I wonder if I could get a second Malaskia. <laughs> can I get a second Malaskia? Welcome, sir. What can I get you? I'll take one more Malaskia. No can do, sir. By law, I can't serve you another for at least six years. That is a long I'm time. Now. I, am I am at your service, sir. So now we need to get rid of... Because he just threw the glass away, didn't he? So... Wait, I wonder if I could... Cocktail with trash can. 
Hey. Cocktail glass. Use my last gear with a cocktail glass. And now I can go give it to the shuffler. Evil cocktail. Here you are, Mr. Shuffler. It's the bartender's latest creation. The, uh, Alice. Subversively sweet, with notes of dolphin and basement mold. The shuffler accepts your gift with skepticism and curiosity. Hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. Calvin! Why did I want the cards? Nice. Looks like a party. What's the occasion? Occasion? Bro, please! You don't need an occasion to pound the bruise with your bros, bro. Now come on, bro! Join us in a broast! Uh, what? A broast, bro? A bro toast? Sure! Let me go grab a mug. Um... Mug. <gasps> I need to have a beer so I can drink... So I can have it and um, so I can have a mug. And this is one where he shoots, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you lose it. Come on. How am I supposed to beat this guy if I don't even know what these throws mean? That's your problem. Buddy. I wonder if I could perform a card trick for them. I don't think that will work. <laughs> think logically. Who uses cards? Other than. The shuffler and people playing tricks. They usually like carnivals and stuff, aren't they? Maybe Lord of the Ring toss something. Sorry, lad. Uh, he's still just a yeah, so Ooh Will this deck of cards work? I don't know. I don't remember why. Yes, we should do the trick. Let's see. The answer to your quandary is lost forever at the bottom of the Dead Sea. What? Bad. I can't even swim! Wait, oh, sorry, sorry. Cards were upside down. <laughs> the answer to your quandary is at the bottom left corner Ooh. of a parchment wall. Oh, oh we needed the cryptic. rules for the rock, paper, scissors. You know it. We needed the rules for the rock, paper, scissors, so bottom left of a parchment wall. So we just need to inspect a wall. I mean, obviously it's not up there. And it's not around here. Just, that's just creepy. Bleh. It's just a creepy lighter right there. So we just inspect the wall. No, oh, bottom left. Nothing in that room. Bulletin board, eh? Is there anything on here? <gasps> yes. So what is it? Rock, scissors, paper. Horn beats gun. Gun beats all of those. Horns, huh? They lose rock, paper, and scissors, but beat gun. Ah. For some reason. Okay. So let's try this. Now we'll go try and beat rock, paper, scissors. So with it. Rock. Or was it scissors? Scissors, paper. I, I don't remember. Paper. Fuck. Scissors. 
cord. Best of three. Silent scowling guy. You just got wrecked. Oh god. I mean, uh, <laughs> thank you for the friendly and competitive match. Please don't rip off my arms. Thank you. Now I can get a bear. Bear chip. One victory beer, please. He must think Kelvin's a right owl, okay? Uh, hey, there's a giant hole in my mug? Yes, sir. I added that to let the beer breathe properly. It should improve mouthfeel. Well, okay, uh, except the beer just spilled all over the counter. Oh, right. Liquids. Sorry, sir. I'd pour you a replacement. Wow. But we're all out. Weird. Well, has my mug now. And use mug with party. No way these bros will let me toast with an empty mug. Maybe put a cocktail in it? You sure you don't have another beer back there? Quite sure, sir. Might I interest you in a diet, Dr. Lupin? I have about 12 flavors back here. Please, God, no. <laughs> Why would anybody want credit for that? Welcome, sir. What can I get you? Get another cocktail, then. I'm good for now. Can't get another I cocktail. Yours. <gasps> the water leak. This is a little bit like Professor Layton, isn't it? It'll just leak through the hole in the bottom. Okay, so we need to. I'm not sure how the. No, what about the gumball? I'm not sure how those. What about the gumball on you? And then we'll have gumball gum. Kelvin. There. Now we got chewed gum. Fixed mug. There we go. Halfway. Because then they won't be able to see that it's just water. I don't know. Alright, bros. Let's do this. Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. <gasps> oh, Beethoven. Yes. Look at him go. Looks like one of the preschoolers at gym. If they stick their tongues out, do everything. Kelvin, temporal lattice instability just fell by 30%? No! Kelvin, that's a good thing. Oh. Yay! <laughs> I kind of can't believe it, but whatever you're doing is actually working. So you're saying I can come home now and binge watch Star Snails? Y what? No. We need to get you to the next temporal anomaly immediately. But star snails. Kelvin, you can't watch star snails if Lupin implodes the universe. Yeah, fine. Beam in the shower or whatever. Beaming in now. See you on the other side, Kelvin. Well, I can't believe we did it. Ugh, drain hair. It's your hair. Next stop, 17th century London. Famed mathematician Isaac Newton has abruptly ceased his research into the nature of gravity. Instead, fully devoting himself to an unlikely new passion. London, 1673. Eat your heart out, McFly. 
pop culture references. You there, Kelvin? Present and accounted for. All right. The system says you're in London now, and odds are good you're there to help Isaac Newton. The science fiction dude. You're thinking of Isaac Asimov. The uh, violinist. It's Zuck Perlman. Ah, the Swedish tennis player. Kelvin, that's Bjorn Borg. <sighs> Look. In 1672, Isaac Newton published groundbreaking research on the nature of optics. And after that... Nothing else? Bingo. Lupin must have meddled with Newton's later research somehow. Gotcha. I'll get him back on track. Do we, uh, know what else he might have been working on? I have no clue, but I imagine he does. Good luck, Kelvin. Gravity. And with that, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave your thumbs and subscribe and press the notification bell to be told when I upload more videos. I'm really enjoying this game. It's been a long time since I've done a puzzle adventure. So I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!